Hey everyone, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, in for Output. And today we're gonna to explore how easy it is to make beats when working with a step sequencer. Sometimes if you program your beats manually on a drum pad or a keyboard, you usually tend to stick to the same patterns. But if you pull up a step sequencer, you can kind of create new and cool ideas that you might not have thought of when programming out your beats manually. So let's go ahead and bring in Logic's Ultra Beat drum synth. Within Ultrabeat is a step sequencer that we could use to program beats nicely and easily. Let's go ahead and just bring in a quick drum kit over here that comes bundled with Logic Pro X. We'll be using the Deep House kit. Next, we'll be going down to the full view section over here, which is our step sequencer. We're gonna turn on our sequencer on and hit play. So when you load in a drum kit into Ultrabeat, it usually comes with these pre-programmed patterns that could kind of help you get straight to music making, but we're gonna go ahead and create one from scratch using our own touch and flavor. So we're gonna go down to this pattern section over here, control click on this arrow and click clear. Now we have a blank canvas. So of course for a deep house track, you need that sort of kick to be four on the floor. So we're gonna go ahead and step that in right now. So in this smooth kick lane over here, we're gonna control click and we're gonna go to add every downbeat. And that's gonna give us that four to the floor feel. Let's go ahead and put in our snares. Let's do it on the twos over here. All right, next let's go ahead and bring in that open hat to give us that classic deep house feel. And I don't wanna sort of step this in with my mouse. I'm gonna control click in the lane and I'm gonna go to add every upbeat. And as you can see now our beat is starting to build up and this is where the fun part comes into play. Let's go ahead and add in a wood block. I don't have an idea of how I would want to play it. I'm going to let Ultrabeat decide that for me. So I'm going to click in its lane, control click, and I'm going to go create and replace randomly. What that would do is sort of drop in that wood block at different parts throughout that sequence. All right, let's say I don't like that one. I'm just going to go ahead and do create and replace many. All right, let's go ahead and add in this conga over here. Again, we're not sure what to do. We're gonna let Ultra Beat decide that for us, as this is a cool and quick way to kind of create beats that you might not normally make when you program in that manually. So once again, I'm gonna control click in this lane, and let's go ahead and do create and replace some. All right, so I don't like that too much. Let's go ahead and just do that once again. Let's do create and replace few. All right, we're getting something over here. Next, let's go ahead and add in a nice tambourine. Control click and let's do create and replace some. So let's change that to create and replace few. Let's add in this close hat over here. Uh, let's go create and replace randomly. So as you can see, this is a cool and unique way to kind of build out drum patterns from scratch when you're sort of feeling not too 
sort of creative. You can just let Ultra Beat do the work for you and just keep replacing what you're putting in. So if we don't like that tambourine hit, we just go create and replace some. until you get something that you like, or it can also give you some inspiration and create new patterns from there by editing out that sequence. So let's say once you're done with this sequence, you're kind of happy with it, you like where it's going. What I would usually like to do, I like to click this pattern icon right over here, and just drag it into my arrangement so it's easy for me to arrange that pattern. Just to make sure that you turn off your sequencer, and now you can arrange from the piano roll.